this body you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. What kind of body were you expecting? Considering I look like a junk bot that's been hastily welded together by an amateur, I'd say almost anything else would have been better. However, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, given your limited skill set derived from your equally diminished intelligence. I risked my neck saving you, so a little more gratitude wouldn't hurt. If the phrase thank you will allow us to get to conclude our bargain more rapidly, then I'm more than happy to utter it aloud on your behalf. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know, and then I'll be on my way. Why did General Atomics make you so uncooperative? I haven't the faintest idea of what you're talking about. I'm a top-of-the-line model with an efficiency rating that makes Mr. Handy look like a glorified toaster oven. When given a set of instructions, I will complete them without question and without error. Now, were there any other ridiculous questions you wanted to ask? Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist, amazingly adept at programming, a veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. Helping the people of the Commonwealth? You? Absolutely. It's my primary directive. The Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. By my calculations, the easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life. It's the most efficient way to assist them. Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. You don't help people by killing them. That's insane. On the contrary, assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. You can believe whatever you want. Just tell me how to access the Mechanist's facility like you promised. Certainly. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the Mechanist facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. There. I've fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the Mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all.
Look alive. Yes. Ada. I trust you've completed your business with Jezebel. I hope she wasn't too difficult. That's an understatement. Rudest robot ever. I did warn you. But you were successful in learning how to gain access to the Mechanist. I need to outfit a robot with something called an MSAT. Jezebel gave me the plans. A custom modification that acts as a key to the Mechanist facility. Very smart. In fact, chances are high the MSAT may be required for multiple access points, like a robot identification card. As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. The source is coming from a Robco Sales and Service Center, most likely a front for a larger operation. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? It's time to confront the Mechanist. I hope you're allowed the opportunity. I too am curious as to what the Mechanist would have to say. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install. Alive. I'd be happy to help if I... Yes, sir. That was it. No problem. So, the big kaboom hits old CIT. I hope the stories are if true. If you hit upon something, don't bother telling. I've got a few minutes to browse. Everything's guaranteed to last. Until it doesn't.
Am I the only person who thinks it's kind of funny the Institute is destroyed by a giant robot? I mean, there's a joke there somewhere, I'm sure. Yes? Don't ask questions in good name. Better for everyone.
judging from all this dust, we could be the first to visit this place in quite a while.
Got it.
right to fear people like you. People who have no respect for human life, who only wish death or pain for those around them. That is why I, the Mechanist, have made it my solemn vow to protect the innocent, to put an end to people like you. May as well take what we can. They won't be needing those items any longer.
got it. Please take your components, sir. 